New York City's police commissioner says there is a mental health emergency in his department after the ninth suicide by an officer this year. Officer Robert Echeverria took his own life on Wednesday. This came a day after another officer's suicide. Jeff Begays has extensively reported on policing in America and is investigating this crisis. Jeff, what do we know? Good morning, Tony. When we spoke to officers for last week's Policing in America series, off camera, they consistently mentioned depression and PTSD among officers and the need for more help. So how serious is the crisis? Consider this. A 2018 study found that nationally officers are now more likely to die from suicide than in the line of duty. My wife has been my rock. It's been hard. Doug Budney's son, Nick, was a New York City police officer for 14 years. He took his own life last year. We don't know why Nick did what he did. A lot of it had to do with the stress of the work that things that he's seen. The NYPD has seen nine deaths by suicide this year alone, seven since June. Last year, there were four total. Police Commissioner James O'Neill. It's uh, beyond a challenge, it's a crisis. You think, that, okay, this is gonna be the last one, and, and last night, got a phone call and I just did it, it. It just almost knocked me down. I just took the wind right out of me. I just, you know, uh, what the hell's going on here? At least 124 officers nationwide have taken their lives this year. In 2017, at least 140 officers died by suicide, compared to 129 who died in the line of duty. Departments in Chicago, Arizona, and New York are adding more counselors to deal with the crisis. Just think about the cumulative trauma that police officers are exposed to each and every day, and where, how does that manifest itself? We need to change the culture. We need to make sure that uh, our police officers have access uh, to mental health care so they can keep themselves well and do the job that they, they want to do. We just have to make sure that people know the help is out there. And the NYPD is offering counseling and new ways for officers to seek help anonymously. But a study finds that only about 3 to 5 percent of police departments nationwide have the resources that they need for suicide prevention. President Trump recently signed a bill to give funding for police suicide prevention efforts. Jeff, it's really striking. That's yeah. what I was going to say, too. The, the, that line of duty deaths now are lower than yeah. suicides. Yeah, isn't that a stunning exactly number? It, just, it just shows you the scope of the problem across the country. But, you know, I have to say, a lot of these police chiefs, they're having a hard time dealing with this. You know, how how do you counteract this and how do you get officers on the beat to admit that they're having these problems and that they're potentially in distress? Well, I hope they find a way. Jeff, thank too. you very much. If you or someone you know is in crisis right now, contact the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. That is 1-800-273-8255.